One of the greatest innovations in communication technology to date is the telephone. With it, we've connected over mountains, across oceans, and to opposite ends of the world. Before the telephone, the telegraph had been an established means of communication. In fact, many people thought the telephone was unnecessary, as the telegraph already performed the function of instantly sending a message down a wire to a receiver. But over time, the telephone became more popular because of its ability to transmit voice directly to the receiver seamlessly, unlike the complex method of the telegraph. Nowadays, the telephone can do much more than just a voice call. We can send important data, capture memories, and explore the internet, all from our mobile phones. In this video, I will be sharing with you the history of the telephone and how it has evolved over the years. So ensure you watch till the end. Before we proceed to the history of telephone, if you are new to Inventions Flex, please subscribe below and turn on the notification so that you will be the first to know when we post new videos on ancient and modern tech inventions. Haven't said that? Let's dive back in. In the 1870s, Elisha Gray and Alexander Graham Bell independently designed devices that could transmit speech electrically. Both men rushed their respective designs for these prototype telephones to the patent office within hours of each other. Bell patented his telephone first and later emerged the victor in a legal dispute with Gray. Today, Bell's name is synonymous with the telephone, while Gray is largely forgotten. However, the story of who invented the telephone goes beyond these two men. The telegraph and telephone are both wire-based electrical systems. Alexander Graham Bell's success with the telephone came as a direct result of his attempts to improve the telegraph. When he began experimenting with electrical signals, the telegraph had been an established means of communication for some 30 years. Although a highly successful system, the telegraph was basically limited to receiving and sending one message at a time. Bell's extensive knowledge of the nature of sound and his understanding of music enabled him to consider the possibility of transmitting multiple messages over the same wire at the same time. Although the idea of a multiple telegraph had been in existence for some time, it was purely conjecture as no one had been able to fabricate one until Bell. His harmonic telegraph was based on the principle that several notes could be sent simultaneously along the same wire if the notes or signals differed in pitch. On June 2, 1875, while experimenting with the harmonic telegraph, the men discovered that sound could be transmitted over a wire completely by accident. They continued to work into the next year. Bell patented his device on March 7, 1876, and it quickly began to spread. By 1877, construction of the first regular telephone line from Boston to Somerville, Massachusetts, had been completed. By the end of 1880, there were over 49,000 telephones in the United States. The following year, telephone service between Boston and Providence, Rhode Island, had been established. Service between New York and Chicago started in 1892 and between New York and Boston in 1894. Transcontinental service began in 1915. Bell founded his Bell Telephone Company in 1877. As the industry rapidly expanded, Bell quickly bought out competitors. After a series of mergers, the American Telephone and Telegraph Coker, the forerunner of today's AT&T, was incorporated in 1880. Because Bell controlled the intellectual property and patents behind the telephone system, AT&T had a de facto monopoly over the young industry. It would maintain its control over the U.S. telephone market until 1984, when a settlement with the U.S. Department of Justice forced AT&T to end its control over state markets. The first regular telephone exchange was established in New Haven, Connecticut in 1878. Early telephones were leased in pairs to subscribers, the subscriber was required to put up his line to connect with another. In 1889, Kansas City undertaker Alman B. Stroger invented a switch that could connect one line to any of 100 lines by using relays and sliders. The Stroger switch, as it came to be known, 
was still in use in some telephone offices well over 100 years later. Stroger was issued a patent on March 11, 1891, for the first automatic telephone exchange. The first exchange using the Stroger switch was opened in Laporte, Indiana in 1892. Initially, subscribers had a button on their telephone to produce the required number of pulses by tapping. Then, an associate of Stroger's invented the rotary dial in 1896, replacing the button. In 1943, Philadelphia was the last major area to give up dual service, rotary and button. In 1889, the coin-operated telephone was patented by William Gray of Hartford, Connecticut. Gray's payphone was first installed and used in the Hartford Bank. Unlike payphones today, users of Gray's phone paid after they had finished their call. Payphones proliferated along with the bell system. By the time the first phone booths were installed in 1905, there were about 2.2 million phones. By 1980, there were more than 175 million. But with the advent of mobile technology, the public demand for payphones rapidly declined, and today there are fewer than 500,000 still operating in the United States. The design looks and sophistication of the modern telephone as we see it today began in the early 80s. In 1983, Motorola released the Dynatac mobile telephone, nicknamed the Brick, it had one hour of talk time and eight hours of standby. Only a few years after the brick is released, Motorola develops the lightest cellular device on the market. The phone is called the Microtech and weighs in at only 12 ounces. The world's first commercial text message was sent out in 1992. It was written and sent by the employees of a company known as Logica CMG. In 1993, the first smartphones came out for the public to buy. IBM created one called Simon, which had a touch screen and could send and receive faxes. In 1995, Sprint opened the first personal communication service. It was the first cellular network designed for private use for individuals who own cellular phones. In 1998, a company called Iridium put a canopy of 64 satellites into place. They also made the first handheld satellite phones, replacing bag phones with ones that were much less cumbersome. This move would lead to the development of the modern smartphone. In 2003, technology was developed to transmit phone calls over internet protocols. Long distance charges could be avoided through the use of established computer networks. In 2008, both the iTunes Store and the Android market opened up for smartphone users. This heralds the beginning of a huge surge in the popularity of apps. In 2010, smartphones continued to develop. The first 4G handset was released bringing data onto consumers' phones at blazing fast speeds. Since 2010 till date, the telephone has greatly improved, especially in design speed and functionality. The future of the telephone will be very great because of the huge demand for better seamless communication. Now you know the history of telephones. Do like and subscribe for more historic inventions. See you in the next video.